The Russian military command wants to form assault units with convicts suffering from hepatitis B and C. They will be sent for meat assaults in Ukraine, according to Ukrainian Defense Intelligence. According to intelligence sources, the Russian Ministry of Defense issued Order No. 610, dated October 10, 2024. This order removes hepatitis C from the list of diseases that disqualify individuals from military service. The Russians did this to fill units with sick convicts. Those infected with hepatitis are marked in the document as Contingent C. It is noted that before being sent to the front, the sick prisoners in colonies must formally receive the hepatitis B vaccine and undergo antiviral therapy for hepatitis C. According to estimates by Russian leaders, their new mobilization decision will allow them to involve thousands of convicts in meat assaults in the war against Ukraine, the intelligence writes. According to Ukrainian intelligence, there are about 10,000 hepatitis patients in prisons and detention centers in the so-called Central Military District of the Russian Armed Forces. Of these, about 15% have agreed to fight voluntarily. The first four assault companies and two reserve companies made up of sick convicts are being formed in the 1,435th and 1,437th motorized rifle regiments. The newly formed Russian assault companies B to C, named after the hepatitis types, are planned to be stationed in the temporarily occupied territories of the Luhansk and Donetsk regions. Russia began actively sending convicts to fight against Ukraine in 2022. Initially, this recruitment was carried out by the Wagner private military company and later by the Russian Ministry of Defense. Previously, prisoners were promised pardons, but now only conditional releases are offered and the term of service has increased to the end of the special military operation. In October 2023, Russia recorded a drastic decline in the number of prisoners, which is attributed to their deployment in the war. Moreover, it was recently reported that the convicts recruited by the Russian Ministry of Defense are dying at the front, two months after being sent to the front line. South Korea spy agency said North Korean Foreign Minister Cho Sun-hui, who is visiting Russia, may be involved in high-level discussions on sending additional troops to Russia and negotiating what his country would get in return. Lee song Kuyen, a lawmaker for People's Power Party, said in a briefing Tuesday that the National Intelligence Service also told lawmakers it's examining the possibility that some groups of North Korea's military personnel in Russia including generals or other high-ranking officials, may have already moved to frontline areas. The spy agency also said the two sides appear to be struggling to resolve communication issues, although the Russian military is training North Korean troops on Russian military terminology, Lee said. North Korea's top diplomat is visiting Russia in another sign of their deepening relations. The announcement of Ko's visit came hours after the Pentagon said North Korea has sent about 10,000 troops to Russia, who are expected to arrive in battlefields in Ukraine within the next several weeks. Pokemon, 전선 이동 가능성을 열어두고 확인 중에 있다고 합니다. 이런 군사 용어 100여 개를 교육하고 있지만 북한군이 어려워한다는 부분이 있는 상태이고 그래서 소통 문제의 해결이 불투명, 불투명하다는 추적 예측을 하고 있습니다. 
Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday launched a massive exercise of the country's nuclear forces featuring missile launches in a simulation of a retaliatory strike, as he continued to flex the country's nuclear muscle amid spiraling tensions with the West over Ukraine. Defense Minister Andrei Belusov reported that the exercise is intended to practice strategic offensive forces launching a massive nuclear strike in response to a nuclear strike by the enemy. As part of Tuesday's drills, the military test-fired a Yars intercontinental ballistic missile from the Plisetsk launch pad at the Kara testing range on the Kamchatka Peninsula, the defense ministry said. The Novomoskovsk and Nyaz Oleg nuclear submarines test-fired ICBMs from the Barents Sea and the Sea of Okhotsk, while nuclear-capable Tu-95 strategic bombers carried out practice launches of long-range cruise missiles. The ministry said that all the missiles reached their designated targets. Last month, the Russian leader warned the US and NATO allies that allowing Ukraine to use Western-supplied longer-range weapons for strikes deep inside Russia would put NATO at war with his country. He reinforced the message by announcing a new version of the nuclear doctrine that considers a conventional attack on Russia by a non-nuclear nation that is supported by a nuclear power to be a joint attack on his country a clear warning to the U.S. and other allies of Kiev. Putin also declared that the revised document envisages possible nuclear weapons use in case of a massive air attack, holding the door open to a potential nuclear response to any aerial assault, an ambiguity intended to deter the West. Боевая тревога, ракетная атака, ракетная атака, ракетная атака. Есть КП-26. Есть КП-26. До старта 10, 9, 8. 3, 2, 1, 0. Есть старт ракеты. Есть старт ракеты по ракетной шахте номер 8. 